Hi all, welcome to John's Model Making. Today we're carrying on with a Valentino Rossi. Issues 82 to 84. There we go. Excellent. Pop them to one side just for now. We're going to need uh, that dummy knot for this. We're also going to need uh, this sprocket, I think it is. We do need the chain. That'll be fun. Deep joy for that one. And we have the parrot wheels. We have the parrot, but that's already in the box as well as we do have a fairing i think we just put a couple of screws on it but we don't actually put it onto the bike here we have the bike there she is looking absolutely stupendous looking brilliant all that detail is brilliant all the pipe work now is all connected fully uh, we just need the panets down to put this into place i have got a display case for this as well that will come next month with the last pack so after these three, we've only got seven more to do. I have got 89 and 90. I think I've stated that before. So I just need the other five. And then we can get the bike completed. Excellent. It'll look good with all the uh, covering on it, the skin, and all the panelling. But it's looking absolutely brilliant. It's been a fantastic build. It really has. I know it's been fiddly, especially with all the pipe work. But the reward uh, from building it has been absolutely brilliant. Anyway. Let's have a look at issue 82. Okay, no, stage 82. Sparks in Suzuka. We have paddock stand and chain assembly. Parts supplied on the paddock stand. Okay, okay. But we put the chain <laughs> into place. Here we have retrieved the gearbox sprocket, which we have type F screw and, screw and a washer part C and E and F respectively the magazine 28 i think we've got everything in there there are washers and screws in there excellent so we'll put the sprocket into place and then we have this chain there we go this is where the, it links up here that'll be fun and games there we go and that is it that is the bike completed up to that stage so we don't actually put the paddock or the wheels into place probably do that next issue anyway without further ado let's get on with the build Okay, well, first thing we need to do is put this sprocket into there and then we can attach a screw to it. And we've got to pop that there like so. We've got the washer and pop that into place. That should go in there. And then we just have the one screw. There we go, that is still free to move, as you can see. Excellent, now we need to get the chain out. There we go, here we have the link and the clip and now the chain. Okay, now I've zoomed out a little bit, we can actually try and get this chain into place get that through there link it up onto this sprocket here we'll leave that just there because we have a, a link to fit as well as and we need the rest of this to come around here and through here Pull this a bit more through here. Not done any chain work for years. <laughs> Not rolled a bike for years. So this is all quite challenging. But we need to get that over that sprocket. Probably better putting the sprocket on with the chain actually. But, uh, It 
Okay, we don't lose that washer. Get that on there. There we go. That should be enough. Screw that back on. There we go. Now we can get the rest into place. Yep. Well, let that move. Get that there. There we go. That's the chain into place. Oh, it was rather fiddly. Okay, now I'll move the cameras. We can get this link into these two vacant holes. Hopefully, without any bother. I'll use the tweezers for this. We can pop that through there. There we go. So that's come through. Now we need this link. Which will bring these two together, hopefully. Um, as always, this is not going to be easy. Need to get it through. I realise you can see that. And I've just got to push that link. Catching them two just like that. <laughs> that was not easy. Okay, look. Let's have a look at this chain, how it works now. Uh, I can just get over a bit somewhere safe. There we go. There we can see. That's working nice and bonny. Excellent. There we go. That is looking brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. I thought that was going to be a bit difficult to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's working great that. Okay, the last thing we need to do is to put this dummy knot in place. Just the... I think that's going to hold. Excellent. There we go. Brilliant. Let's move on to issue 83. Okay, no, issue 83, let's have a look. Ross's triumphal march in 2005. Ah, we have a reaffirming and paddock stand assembly. Excellent. There we go, so we'll put the paddock stand together. There we go, we can finally balance the car. We do nothing with the fairing. <laughs> Typical. So that is the fairing. There we are, looking nice and bonny. Put that to one side. Here we have the paddock stand and we have the wheels. Obviously we don't do anything with that piece of fairing anyway. So I'll get these out of the bags. So there we go, those are the wheels and the paddock stand. That is that fairing also. I've not unpacked the other one, but that looks absolutely superb. Brilliant, that'll screw into place or clip into place later on in the bone. Pop that to one side. Now we have two wheels like this. So that will go through there, and that one will go into there, and then we can fix the other. There we go, that's gone in to place, and we can use this to keep the bike upright. There we go, excellent. I think that one, yeah, that's as oh, that one's going further. This one can go in a bit more. There we go. It finally did snap into place. I couldn't get it apart again. <laughs> but it has finally snapped into place. That I don't know. Sometimes this build it can be quite difficult. <laughs> okay, now we can get the bike into place. Right. There we go. That should go there. And that should go there. Brilliant. Holds that nicely. Fantastic, let me zoom out. There we go, there's that paddock stand. Brilliant. That will, yep, help move that along 
fantastic and here we have another shot there we go that chain working beautifully excellent stuff looking absolutely brilliant this there we go let me pull that back and there's the overhead shot excellent looking brilliant oh it's looking absolutely fantastic this has been an absolutely brilliant build right let's do the last issue 84. okay don't last issue for this month issue 84. go through the magazine as always we have the tail bearing on the side and the yamaha badge there we go but we don't do anything with that we want the previous issue we have a couple of screws to pop into place not previous variants carry out this assembly issue you need a flat blade screwdriver and that the screwdriver received at the beginning of the collection by turning its blade handle around and we have to take the left hand side of the tail fairing and the two type a screws from issue 83 so without further ado let's get on with the build let's get the parts out okay well, there we go that is the fairing that we've been given we need to pop a screw in here and another screw uh, in there, I believe. Not screwing into anything, just screwing through the holes. So, yep. Yeah, the first one, this is the screwdriver they gave us at the beginning of the build. So, get that lined up, make sure whatever you do, you don't scratch anything, any of this paintwork. Um, so, steady hand and line that up. I don't like <laughs> these screws at all for all this. There you go, see. Try a different screwdriver, I think. Okay, let's try that again. Slowly does it. There we go. That's for that end, and we need one. Well, this front end just here that is it that is all we need to do in issue 84 one screw there one screw there those are the eight type pair screws this is the part that we received with this issue uh, there's the badge yep some more detail there that is what we received previously and there we go those are all the other parts that i received we've got 89 and 90 um we have this big tank to fit yet we have the front of the bike and Oh, there we, are. we have that piece to fit as well and that and that fairing all to come next month and there's still five more issues uh, to arrive yet so it's going to be a lot next month so probably again it'll be two videos but that is looking excellent and there is the bike again on that paddock stand looking brilliant there we go there's another shot on the paddock stand chain going around nice and bonny there we go nicely steered as well excellent that is awesome looks brilliant lovely jubbly so there we go guys uh, there she is why is that rm1 <laughs> looking fantastic that little link for the chain wasn't as bad as i thought it looked uh, a toughie which it was but uh, steady hand and we're away excellent so next month it'll be totally complete i get a case for it as well i think it lights up on the base but seven issues next month and you've seen all them parts that i've received and not yet fitted <laughs> that's amongst next month plus there's five other issues excellent but uh, yeah it's really looking fantastic you know i do enthusiasm about it but i'm absolutely loving it it's kind of like brilliant it really is a lot more complicated than 
pouring a car together put it that way and a lot more satisfaction as well but yeah it's fantastic no it doesn't make any noises no lights on it um, it's just a pure model and it looks absolutely brilliant absolutely love it <laughs> anyway i keep going on so anyway if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you next month for the final chapter of the valentino rossi excellent thanks for tuning in and watching stay safe bye for now Thank you.